COVID-19 has a huge impact on the poor education program in the African region because, as you know, we have to practice the, uh, the social distancing. And when you're talking about vaccinating children, it means having contact uh, with the children and the caregivers. So this poses a very big risk uh, for us, to the, the volunteers, the vaccinators, and the communities, uh, because conducting these activities may spread uh, the COVID-19. So based on that, uh, most of the activities have been postponed uh, until maybe later in the year when you see how the situation uh, evolves. The polio program has the biggest uh, footprint in terms of uh, personnel, um, as well as expertise in assisting other programs uh, to control other outbreaks beyond uh, polio. So uh, we're using our staff really to assist in things which we know they're very good at, uh, surveillance, uh, which is very, very important, uh, planning uh, for any of these uh, responses, uh, contact uh, tracing, and as well as activities which may assist us to identify other cases uh, very, very quickly. So the WHO recommendation and guideline is because of the social distancing is for us to postpone and suspend these uh, activities. The governments are looking at the risks of uh, COVID, at the opportunity of conducting some activities. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the, the final decision has to be made by the countries uh, themselves, the governments themselves. Uh, but our advice well, for now is to postpone these activities to avoid further spread of this COVID-19. It has been more than uh, three years now since we had our last world polyvirus case uh, in the African region. Uh, surveillance has, has improved and we have already received documentation of uh, polio free status uh, from 43 countries which have been accepted by the Africa Region Certification uh, Commission. So we are planning to hold uh, a meeting with this commission uh, to look at the final documentation in Kampala but that has been postponed uh, because of this travel restriction. Uh, it will be up to the African Region Certification Commission uh, to see when they can now make this uh, declaration. Mm -hmm.